The Ram 1500 GT package, a slap in the face of Ram TX owners and fans that wanted a 392 engine in their beloved pickup truck, but still don't have that option. Jeep feeling the pressure by the new kid in the block, shoved in quickly a 392 into a Wrangler. Ram wanted to make a statement against Ford using the Hellcat motor. So in this video, I want to ask you guys a question. Will we see the 1500 get a 392 before the age of the EVs or is the GT package a band-aid because of COVID? Let's get to the stuff. Now I'm going against the grain about this package, I know, but Ram knows exactly what everyone wants for years and here is the results of them listening, the GT package. I'm going to pop up here on the screen to show you what all comes in the GT. In a nutshell, you basically get all the interior and tech goodies that us TRX owners have and it gets filtered down to you guys. Now there is nothing wrong with this, Dodge has done this for years with every version of the Challenger, which is why they look like every other version of the Challenger. But there are some things I have a gripe about the GT. Number one. The package shows that we may never get a 392 in the 1500, or does it? If you look in this package at the stereo add-ons, Ram basically throws a bunch of bolt-ons to make the 5.7 feel like a 392 TRX with factory installed cold air intake, e-torque, exhaust, and 392 gears. Most of that you can get at aftermarket, but Ram wants these trucks to sound mean just like the TRX. Ram wants to get these trucks a 392 rear gear axle ratio, but not a 392 engine to make the 5.7 feel faster. And yes, I know the 392 is standard on the Rebel, but it's also an option on the Laramie. The GT, you had to get the e-torque on the engine to make it again feel faster. The GT package will probably get a couple more horsepower, but there's no 392 at the end of the day. One interesting article I want to talk about is from Mopar Insider saying that package of issues prevent 1500 from getting a 392 because of the intake. I honestly don't know how this is possible anymore if the Hellcat motor and 392 are basically the same size and intake dumps out in the same location. It seems like you can just slap on a version of the TRX hood on the Rebel and you have a Rebel TR, a V6 Raptor fighter that hopefully will be way cheaper than a ridiculous 65k Ford accent for the v6 raptor with that being said maybe the truck that i talked about in my 2023 trx mule video is a 302 rather than a red eye after all Number two, let me take you back to August of 2020. Ram was on a record of saying that a non-supercharged version of the TRX wouldn't be available at introduction. This makes perfect sense. They can get high margins back from RD with a supercharged TRX. They can stick it to four since the Raptor takes a year off. And then people who couldn't afford a TRX who would turn to four for a V6 Raptor, Ram could scoop in and announce a 392 or inline six as reports suggested to capture more customers. The inline six GME T6 engine would have been the perfect because they could have put it in other Ram models to get them all more horsepower and better MPG. The problem is that the plants where it could have been built wasn't ready. I've heard from sources that the new engine plant in Indiana could be one site where this engine could be made at and then also heard that when the Hellcat engine ends production in 2023, the line of Mexico that makes the engine could swap over to a GMT6 engine. In my track off video, I'll go over how you can scoop up a Hellcat model at the best price and I'll link it right here in the corner for you to go check it out. Now it works for every model except for the 4 e and the TRX. One interesting thing about this website is if you look at the fine print, why would it say all models of the TRX if they're only gonna make one version of it? The Demon is singular, the 4 e is singular, and then you see all TRX models? That's very interesting for a truck that they're gonna get a second model. Just saying. The 392 would have been great for the baby TRX, but could they spread it to other models and lose, you know, payload, fuel economy, EPA credits, and towing? I say yes because with the TRX selling like hotcakes, the terrible fuel economy, the crappy payload, the crappy towing, I don't think customers would have cared. You don't buy a TRX to tow, you don't buy a Raptor to tow, but I don't know why Ram would think customers would cry by having a 392 in their pickup truck. If Ram would have done a 392 option for the 2022 model year, we could have had two full production years with a 392 before the age of EVs in 2024. The 392 trucks would have stood out, generated a lot of buzz, heck, make a lot of money, before we can start seeing all these small engines that have been rumored over the last few years. Or you can show Ram that you want 392 1500 by typing down in the comments and liking this video. Hey Ram, are you listening? Just saying. Number three, I said back in my TRX video in February that there was a name that I didn't want to say because it didn't make sense and that was a GT package. I handed it months ago on the forums as well by posting this picture of a Challenger on the TRX form with an RT package on it. Now the GT package does not make sense to me on a pickup truck. Every time I think of GT, I think of Ford GT, Mustang GT, AMG GT, Nissan GTR, McLaren GT. Nothing about the name says to me off-road truck or better yet, 
luxury performance off-road truck. Now the name was associated with a baby TRX at one point in time and then the magic got made it to this package. Honestly, I believe that because of the production issues with the TRX from again delayed several months, running out of parts, and that Ram probably shelled the baby TRX, came with the GT package as a band-aid for what they really wanted to do to make a Raptor V6 fighter, and then tacked the GT package to the Laramie to make a street version of the TRX. Number four, the price. The TRX owner in me is like, why is the GT package only $3,000? If you look at the options for the TRX, the level one is $3,400 and the level two is around $8,000. The GT takes options from both levels of the TRX as the intake, exhaust, hood, stickers, and still manage to be cheaper than the level one on the TRX. On the TRX, we got paid $500 for six stickers. $500. If the GT package is $3,000 and I subtract that $500, that means the GT package without the stickers in it is $2,500. I'll be conservative and subtract $15 for the intake, the exhaust, and the hood. So basically it's $1,000 to get all these TRX goodies. Now that is a steal of a deal. But for TRX owners, it's like a slap in the face that we paid all this money, but somebody else with a smaller engine can get all this stuff for next to nothing. And we still got remote start added into the base price of, of a $70,000 pickup truck. Just saying. So in conclusion, if you're going to order the GT package, it is well worth the money. I thought last year the level two package on the TRX was a steal. Nah, the GT package gives you an imitation TRX at a fraction of the price. And Ram is going to make it just feel faster with all these goodies with the intake, the exhaust, the hood, the e-torque, and the 392 gears. I mean, what else could you ask for other than a 392? And that's really the only downside, that you don't get a bigger engine. Now, if it was me and I worked for Ram, I would have made it even better by putting a full body system with the GT package. I would have gave you a couple hundred more horsepower by 20 miles of EV range. It would be the best of both worlds. You would have the power of the 302, the V8 sound, and the added bonus of like 20 EV miles to commute with. It would have been perfect sense to make the 1500s hybrid with the GT package. The current 5.7 makes 395 horsepower and 410 foot-pounds of torque. The small four-cylinder in the 4xe makes 375 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque. If I make that 4xe to a 5.7, you'll easily have numbers comparable to the 450 horsepower V6 Trombone Raptor. That's 65K. But if you checked out my Ram EV Day video breakdown, I alluded to the 4xe system being used because they hide the drivetrain whenever they show off this next generation 1500. And this, in fact, will be with the next gen 1500 will be so it seemed like the drive chain was coming but it's not coming yet and that's it for this video guys if you want a cheap trx get the gt if you want the power but don't have the dollar maybe the 2023 models will have a hybrid or 392 for a year just like the durango i had the hellcat for one year so let me know what you guys think down below is the gt a band-aid until a final horsepower truck comes in the near future help a butter out like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and until the next time i'm out